Today we're specifically taking a look at unconstitutional gun restrictions throughout the United States. Now I'm going to start off by saying that this unconstitutional restriction going on on the Second Amendment, our right to bear arms. The Second Amendment to the United States Constitution reads, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Now this is a big deal because it is definitely being infringed on. There are over 20,000 gun restriction laws in the United States infringing on our rights to bear arms, infringing on our Second Amendment rights. And not only is it a constitutional right, it is a God-given right to be able to protect yourself and your family. It all began when state and local governments decided that they have the right to make these restrictions. If the United States government isn't going to do it, they have the free will to be able to make these restrictions as well. And as we see New York, California, Connecticut, Illinois falling into very unconstitutional practices, we are in a position now with a Republican president, a Republican Senate to make a change. And I believe we only have two years to do it. In two years from last November, what we're going to see is we're going to see the Senate change back from majority Republican to majority Democrat. And this has been historical. Every time there's an election of a Republican or a Democratic president, Two years later, there is a major shift in the Senate and the House of Representatives. So we're in a position now where we have to get rid of these unconstitutional laws. When I simply drove through Illinois, I just went through the southern tip on my way to the NRA convention in Kentucky last year. I was horrified to go through that tiny little tip. As I drove over the Missouri River into Illinois, I could literally see the bridge in the distance over the Ohio River going into Kentucky. And that whole time that I was in Illinois for about 45 seconds, I was scared that my rights were going to be infringed on and if I was to be pulled over and had guns in my car, which I always do, that I was probably going to go to jail. I feel very sorry for the citizens of these states that are being very unconstitutional and quite frankly breaking the law. There's a law right now that says if you're receiving Social Security benefits that they have the right to investigate your medical history if you want to purchase a firearm. This is definitely infringing on your right to bear arms. What I'm calling for is gun advocates to step up. Now is the only time. There are so many bills being passed right now. Get online, sign petitions, get involved. It is a critical piece and we only have two years to do it. First and foremost, we need to repeal the NFA. Currently, there are things on the books to allow us to have silencers. I want the right to protect my ears. I also think that nobody should tell me that I can't have a short barrel rifle. These are exactly infringing on my right to bear arms, and I want my constitutional rights back. So again, I'm just asking you to call on your senators, get online, sign petitions. We the people are the only ones that can make these changes, and that's what this video is all about. Is It's a call out to tell people to get up, make a difference, sign petitions, get involved in your local and state governments, get involved in these things because we have two years to get our rights back. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can also now find us on Facebook under God, Family, and Guns. But by far the most important part of this YouTube channel is it's a ministry to us and we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.